All right, now, at this point, I look and I say, okay, that's how long the journey is gonna take, but how does that relate to a cost? How does that relate to a cost? Does anyone wanna suggest to me, have a look at these one, two, three, four lines. Where are places that you see hours leading to cost? Okay, fantastic. These two here, and the clue, by the way, was, there's hours in each of those, right? So the longer you drive for, the more you have to pay the driver for, because they're just sitting there for longer, and also there's gonna be more fuel used. So therefore, hours goes into both of these, right? So in fact, if I draw some arrows in here, one and two, all right? So at the very least, I can say, oh, if I multiply the total number of hours by the fuel consumption rate, think about this for a minute, right? hours times liters per hour, what does that give you? In terms of units, forget about the number. Hours, this is actually, I should put an H on the end here. Multiplied by liters per hour, what happens to the units? The hours will just cancel. So you'll just get some certain number of liters. That's good, because that tells me how much fuel I'm gonna use, okay? Let me pause there, I'm gonna give you a minute to do that on your own. But before you do that, uh, I'm also gonna suggest when you do this, by this, again, you're just gonna get a straight number of dollars, right? Because that's just how much you hand to the driver, okay? So let me pause for a minute. Let me see how far you guys can get sort of trying to assemble a little bit. I've given you a nudge. I'll give you like a couple of minutes. I'll come around and see what you're up to, and then we'll see how far we get into the question. Okay, off you go. So, where are we at? Well, we said we would take this total number of hours, and we multiply it by each of these things. Let's just do it one at a time, shall we? So I'm going to do the fuel consumption rate. So fuel, I'm not going to write consumption rate anymore because I'm about to multiply the rate by how long I'm doing the rate for. Okay, so it's simply this multiplied by that. So I'm just going to write it down first. Let's just do a nice straight substitution step like so. Is that all right? Okay, help me with some algebra. The first bit's easy. As I expand out, what do I get with the first term? Starts with a six. <laughs> Great, there's not really much to do with that one. And then for the next one, oh, isn't this convenient? There's a number 50 on the bottom, which we talked about before. You've got 1,000 divided by 50, and we already discussed that that's just 1,000 divided 20. by 50. 20, thank you. And then a V squared over V. So that leaves you with? V. v. All right, now just pause for a minute. Just look at this. When you're doing uh, this sort of conversion of all this information of the question into an answer, you like keep an eye, like one eye on your working, and you always keep a second eye on the destination where you're headed to, right? Now, when you look at these, this is good, isn't it? Aren't I clearly headed in the right direction? I've got some stuff over V, and then I've got some stuff times V. This is, this is good, right? We can go one better, because this is fuel. What does C stand for again? Cost. cost. So actually, I don't want fuel. I want to know the cost of the fuel. And if you have a look, it's right here, isn't it? There's the cost of the fuel. It's 50 cents for every single one of these liters. Does that make sense? So this is actually liters, because it's amount of fuel. So now I'm going to say, uh, yeah, I'll switch over colors now, because now I'm talking in money terms, right? Therefore, the cost of fuel I get this from how much fuel I've got, and I multiply that by that fuel rebate at the top there, okay? So again, just do a straight substitution, it's 0 0.5, that's my 50 cents, rather than talking cents and dollars, let's just talk in dollars. And I'll just do this straight substitution, even though I think you guys could happily do this all in your head. Okay, what do I get? You've already got this, do you want to tell us what we got? Um, 3, over 50 plus 10. Fantastic. Okay, now again, as I mentioned before, you always keep an eye on this. You're like 10V, that's good. 3,000 on V. Uh, <laughs> I've got part of it, but I'm missing a big chunk, right? What am I missing? This only is the cost of, cost of? Fuel. The fuel. And by the way, I mentioned this before, before you guys came in, but I mentioned this to Divya. Even though it seems kind of frustrating to write words, do you see how useful it is that I've written this word here? Because I know I'm missing part of the cost. Namely, have a look. What's the missing cost? 
The driver. Yeah, that's right. I haven't, I haven't paid the driver at all. I've just covered their fuel costs, right? So have a look at this. And I'm sorry you guys don't have the question in front of you, but it said the driver gets $45 an hour and there's two drivers, okay? So therefore I can say cost of driver, or I actually should say maybe cost of two drivers, right? What's that equal to? $90 per hour, right? Very good. And what I can do is I can multiply that by, I already know how many hours it's going to take. It's right here, right? So then I'll say, um, hmm, I should say, I was going to say rate. So the actual cost, or maybe I could have said total cost, is going to be this rate multiplied by however many hours I took, which I've already dealt with, right? So I'll just do, again, the straight substitution, and then hopefully this is looking really helpful, right? Because I'm multiplying by just the 90. So what do you get? What was your name again, sorry? Hi. Sophie, this is the 90,000 on V, and you're like, you breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> Because you're like, oh, that 3,000 on V is missing the 90,000, but this is where it comes from, right? So I can now say, and actually this part doesn't matter too much, um, C equals fuel costs plus driver costs. I'm just combining the two pieces. What have we got there? I wrote it down. Uh, I'll write the 10V out the front because that's there where they want it. On V, there's the fuel cost. I'll even put brackets around to make it super obvious. 90,000 on, get the right number of zeros there, on V is the driver cost, and this part barely needs to be written because you wouldn't get any marks for it anyway since they gave it to you, but let's finish it off there. Okay, Are you happy with that? You see how we've assembled it? And there's actually a lot of work just to do that. Like I haven't done any calculus yet. I've just been interpreting the question. 